What's up guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I'm going to review the brand new Nike Tiempo Legend 10 Elite. Nike has decided to go green and apply the synthetic leather on the upper, and I'm going to explain the good and bad about the new change in today's video. Puma did the same with the recent Puma King, which was a little disappointment to be honest, so I was a little worried that Nike might have messed it up as well, but Nike did not disappoint as usual. If you guys want more videos on soccer, please or full slow shoes, please subscribe to my channel channel for soccer. Also write down comments below if there are any questions or ideas you would like to share. The upper is called Fly Touch Plus which is an improved synthetic leather version of the old Kangolite material. It is soft and pliable right out of the box but it is less flexible than the real natural leather. The micro dot texturing is applied on the inside part and the fly knit on top has good elasticity. The heel area is soft microfiber material and the internal lining is textile material that is usually applied in the natural leather boot. The also configuration is as same as the previous generation, but the shape of the conical studs changed a bit. Nike proposes that the round spot reduces the pressure on the bottom of the feet, but honestly, I couldn't feel the difference. I was satisfied with the traction. Of course, the artificial ground I tested it on was in a good quality, but it provides very steady traction overall. So there is a reason why Nike has not changed the studs of Tiempo for years. I didn't feel any stud pressure during the training, and I was able to turn around smoothly even on the artificial ground thanks to the conical studs. I would say it is possible to wear these on a good artificial grass field, but not all types. US size 8.5 or 265 millimeter weighs 196.5 grams, and US size 9 or 270 millimeter weighs 204.8 grams, which is lighter than the previous generation. Like the weight suggests, they don't feel stuffy unlike other natural leather cleats. The fit of the Nike Tiempo 10 is surprisingly good. If the size is right, you can almost almost think that they are natural leather cleats. The only difference is that they wrap around your feet with more tension. Another advantage of the thin upper is that it gives you a light and airy feeling inside. The flexibility and the softness of Puma King synthetic upper is closer to the natural kangaroo leather, but the Tiempo's fit and feel was closer to the natural leather. I compare the fit with Copa 19 Plus which in my opinion was a masterpiece from Adidas, and the Tiempo 10's fit was lacking in every aspect in comfort comfort and elasticity, but still they are the best out of all the synthetic leather boots that are currently in the market. I wore Tiempo 10 as my usual size in both US 8.5 or 265mm and US 9 or 270mm. US size 8.5 was so tight in every part that I could not move my feet at all inside. Even though Nike was good at imitating the natural leather, there is still synthetic material which has limit in their elasticity. The length is about right with half to 3 fourths of my thumb thumbnail left but the ball was way too tight that there is literally no space left inside. So I tried out US size 9 and they run a little long about 3 fourth to one of my thumbnail left. There was a little space left in the ball and midfoot so I didn't need any break in time. Because the length was perfect with US size 8.9 but way too tight otherwise I went with US size 9 in the end. So overall I recommend going half a size up. I agree that these boots won't make you a professional player when it comes to dribbling and shooting. But I will describe their feeling briefly. I was wondering how the kick feeling is like with the new Tiempo with synthetic leather and they felt pretty natural with the impact on the ball when shooting and giving some cross. Some natural leather boots are a little slippery while dribbling but these micro dots provided extra grip while dribbling but didn't really help with curbing the ball in my opinion. So overall the Nike Tiempo Legend 10 Elite is worth a buy because it gives almost the same fit as natural leather boots and stable traction even on artificial grass field. Also, the price is lower than other Nike boots like the Mercurials, Phantom GX and Phantom Luna. And soon I'm going to review the takedown model Nike Legend Tiempo 10 Pro which is really really a good bang for the buck. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and like I said before, please subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come. And write down comments below if there are any questions or ideas you would like to share.